What is the Duham Quine thesis? In philosophy of science, it is a combined proposal by Pierre Duham and Willard van Orman Quine that no statement entails a prediction about observations, except together with additional assumptions, theories, and auxiliary hypotheses. Duham originally thought up the proposal, but said his thesis only was applicable to physics. Quine however went on to promote this thesis as applicable to everything including science and philosophy. The Duham-Quine thesis states that it is impossible to test a hypothesis in isolation, because an empirical test of the hypothesis requires one or more background auxiliary assumptions, theories, or hypotheses, that a hypothesis in question is by itself incapable of making predictions. Instead, the consequences of the hypothesis typically rest on background information from which to derive predictions. The first problem the thesis brings to mind is the concern whether it prevents a theory from becoming conclusively falsified by empirical means if the background assumptions are not proven, since background assumptions sometimes involve one or more scientific theories. I will demonstrate with an example. Suppose we want to perform an experiment with water and heat. Let us say hypothesis 1 is that, if I put water into a pot and heat it up on the stove to 100 degrees centigrade, then my water will boil due to the H2O molecules speeding up and hitting each other. Our prediction based on hypothesis 1 is, that our water will boil at a temperature of 100 centigrade and turn from a liquid into a gas. However the Duhem-Quine thesis effectively reasons, that our hypothesis 1 cannot possibly be tested in pure isolation. The reason this is, is because our hypothesis 1 rests on numerous auxiliary assumptions and background theories. To accurately acquire our prediction from hypothesis 1 we need to account for all the auxiliary assumptions and background theories that hypothesis 1 entails. For example some of our auxiliary assumptions and background theories might require that we be at sea level for proper barometric pressure, because if we are above or below sea level we may get very different results in our test. Other assumptions and theories might include that there be no salt in our water, which would otherwise prevent it from boiling at 100 centigrade, thus undermining an accurate prediction. Another auxiliary assumption is my thermometer. It must be accurate and not broken. Another difficulty that arises is the fact that even our primary assumptions and theories entail their own auxiliary assumptions and background theories. For example if my thermometer is to be accurate I need to rely on the laws of physics to be relatively constant so as not to ill affect our prediction. Therefore, theoretically all auxiliary assumptions and background theories must be accounted for in order to attempt any sort of accurate test. So, let us suppose the Duhem-Quine thesis is true. Does this mean that there can be no crucial experiments? This presents a major predicament, if our experiment comes out false. If our predictions come out false it does not necessarily mean hypothesis 1 was wrong, but perhaps it was one or more of our primary and secondary auxiliary assumptions and background theories that needs readjustment. If this is so, it isn't hard to imagine the near-infinite regress possible on such terms that would render my hypothesis 1 practically unfalsifiable. However this does not mean that all theories are equally justified or hopeless. Quine provides us with a set of standards to adjudicate among competing theories. This is what he calls the explanatory virtues. Among his explanatory virtues we will only discuss two. These are modesty and simplicity. Modesty is a virtue, because other things being equal, logically weaker hypotheses are preferable, as are hypotheses that assume events of a familiar sort. And simplicity is a virtue, because other things being equal simpler hypotheses are preferable to more complex ones. Take the example of my hypothesis 1 on boiling water. But suppose when I observe my prediction of boiling water I say that it is boiling and turning into a gas, not because of the fire beneath the pot causing H2O molecules to speed up and hit one another, but because an invisible demon is using his demonic powers to magically turn the water into gas. The explanatory virtues modesty and simplicity would say my original hypothesis one claims less and is more simple than my demon hypothesis. 
and so, since hypothesis 1 scores better on Quine's explanatory virtues it is preferable in light of my second hypothesis. As shown, the Duham Quine thesis overcomes its major objections. It also helps in providing additional light on scientific methods and experiments. It even contributed to the fall of phenomenalism and the verificationist principle, thus resurrecting once thought to be dead philosophies such as metaphysics. Thanks for watching. Look for a on YouTube.